Welcome back to the show, everyone. It is, of course, Craft Beer Week coming up very, very soon. We are excited about that. As a matter of fact, we are one of the sponsors, aren't we? Of I know. Craft Beer Week. It is a match made in heaven for Eckford. Chester Carey is joining us now. He is a Cicerone. He'll be explaining what that is in just a moment. And Stephen Chadman is a chef from Beer Craft Bistro. And we are celebrating on, Vancouver Good. Craft Beer Week. How are you? Nice Good, to see you. you. Chester, uh, Cicerone, first explain that to people. Uh, Cicerone is the equivalent of sort of a beer sommelier. You're an expert in all things beer, you have a good understanding of the brewing process, and particularly of an understanding of how beer and food interact together, and which is, is really important. Is the process of uh, becoming a Cicerone the same as uh, the process of becoming a sommelier? Because you are both. In, yeah, in some ways it's, it's very similar. Um, the exams are very similar, about equivalent sort of difficulty, um, but there's no real classes for becoming a Cicerone yet. I've put together a program at uh, Granville Island yeah. at the Culinary Institute that I teach called Serious Beer, which helps people sort of m move their knowledge up so that they can be prepared to write those certifications. But, uh, and keg stands don't count. <laughs> keg stands don't count. No, 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 no don't, say, don't say that. That's the foundation, <laughs> man, right there. Now, Stephen, uh, you're from Beercraft Bistro, and we're going to be making some great food. It smells so good in here. Tell us how, what we're making today. Uh, we're just going to do uh, a prawn curry uh, on basmati rice. So. Delicious. Yeah, yeah. Uh, tell us about Beercraft and, and what you guys do there and uh, your specialties. Uh, yeah, we, well, we focus a lot on, uh, on, uh, on French cuisine uh, in uh, I've uh, got 24 taps on, uh, on, nice. on, on tap. So, and it yeah. really is about that harmony between uh, the beer and the food. And, yeah, it's and a tough everything. job that I got. No I gotta try <laughs> you have to make sure they taste good together. Yeah, yeah, But exactly. just for people who are so familiar that, uh, you know, with wine, but they're just sort of coming around to that idea of harmony between what you're eating and what you're drinking in terms of beer, aren't they? Uh, and I mean, it's sort of backwards in, in many ways. Uh, wine is essentially made by farmers, whereas beer is engineered through the power of science. Right. And brewers can make a beer to match any occasion any dish, yeah. any season. You well, can make an Easter beer, Halloween beer. Let's talk about what you just beer. poured and uh, what occasion this would be man, for. It's like friend. an apple orchard uh -oh, just got cracked in any. here. So this is uh, the Ephemere Palm mm. from the Unibrew Brewery in Quebec. Uh, they're one of the few Belgian-style breweries in Canada. And I, obviously, this is a wheat apple beer. Yes. Is the beer a itself is wheat-based and yeah. a little bit cloudy, and then yeah, it has some apple must in it. But it's um, so wow. fragrant on the apple, so is you can smell fragrant. it when the glass is way down here. So what would you pair this with? As uh, far as food well, goes? originally Stephen was going to bring in a, a beet and goat cheese salad, mm. and wheat beers and where's my goat salad? Goat cheese. Tough guys eat salad. It's a very salad. natural pairing. Um, <laughs> So this, with something like a goat cheese salad or a late brunch sort of dish, so um, nice or potentially light. a dessert, something fairly light, yeah, yeah typically. Nice. Uh, and I was asking you about, because uh, this is from Quebec, right? Uh, and our buddy Terry David Mulligan's been in the news because he's ranting about uh, the import laws between provinces with wine. You were telling me it's the same thing with beer. Same thing with beer, that. with all forms of alcohol. It's harder to get beer from Quebec than it is from Washington State, which what is a just backwards. Yeah. Okay, oh, so Chef, we're doing a prawn curry today. You've got our prawns done. Mm -hmm. uh, why don't we war up, warm up the curry sauce and yeah, just walk absolutely. us through the ingredients that you put in the sauce here, because we didn't have time to do it all. Yeah, no, the uh, basic ingredients are uh, started off with, uh, you know, onions, garlic, uh, some ginger, and uh, cilantro. Uh, get all that sauteed, and uh, we've got garam masala, turmeric, jalapenos, a little bit of cayenne. Nice and spicy. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was gonna say, a curry <laughs> is really always a very personal thing, isn't yeah, it? I yeah, mean, it is, actually. To... It's funny because, I, um, you know, I've been trained in, uh, you know, French cuisine, but my mother-in-law, she's, she's uh, Southeast Asian, so I've been learning a lot off her. <laughs> learning the ropes. Yeah, yeah. Well, and if there's a food that goes well with beer and, and wine has a tough time with, uh, I think it's probably South Asian cuisine, and obviously there are wines that go very well with it, but it, it really is nice a with palate beer. that oh, yeah. goes well with beer, isn't it? Absolutely. So Chester, which beer would we uh, pair with our lovely prawn curry? So I've, I've actually brought the Fat Tug IPA from Driftwood. Um, <laughs> Fat you, Tug. Fat Tug. <laughs> it's a fantastic IPA. It's got some nice spicy notes from the hop and a lot of citrusy notes that are going to tie into all the spices from the curry. IPA, what does that mean? IPA, India Pale, India Pale Ale. Pale so it's Ale. a, a oh, British style beer that's you tell I drink a lot of beer. white hoppy. <laughs> yeah. uh, and, and as you said, beer pairs really well with spicy food because beer, all beer, has some level of carbonation. Yeah. And the bubbles in it sort of lift the spice back off your tongue and leave right. you very, very refreshed. 
Yeah. Uh, in the same way that beer pairs very well with creamy dishes and wine struggles a little it bit there. It breaks up that. It breaks up the creaminess, the whereas fat, wine yeah. with egg dishes, it, it struggles yeah. a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, uh, are all IPAs sort of, uh, are there similarities? Like, are there certain structures that you need to oh, have if you're you. making an IPA, or, or is there a lot of sort you of need fluidity with it? A certain amount of bitterness, um, but there is a, a fair bit of flexibility. Mm -hmm. And you've got a nice basmati rice here with uh, mm. the curry. Oh, yeah. That's correct. That's okay, curry. he's going to look perfect. at this. It's all about the eyes when it comes to plating it. Delicious. Okay. And when you describe a beer, do you do it in, in sort of similar language? You know, like I get grapefruit, mm. dandelion, you know, things like that. A warm summer no, day. No, I do. People are laughing at me, but damn it, I do. No, no, yeah, absolutely. It's so all about your palate. <laughs> the, the same sort of process. You go through the how it looks, how it smells. The flavors that you're picking up, about how bitter it is, about how sweet it is, so and then you sort of your overall impression. Did you want to sprint, it prance through the forest as well? Like I got <laughs> double rainbows and men in underwear out of this. <laughs> well, what does it mean? Okay, now we have a giant piece of chocolate cake that's just right in front of me. Which one are we pairing with this? So I, uh, I brought in a chocolate beer, um, which actually has no chocolate in it, but is going to have an intense chocolate taste to it. This is from uh, the Brooklyn Brewery mm -hmm. in New York. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they do. Oh my God! Yeah, he's of course. Got a beer ring. This is what Cicerones do. Man, they always have a beer ring. This Can beer is going to pour dark chocolate. Uh, just give me a moment, Whoa. I can take the oh ring gosh, off. Oh my gosh, look at the color on that. Wow. It's going to have intense espresso and black chocolate aromas, but again, there's no chocolate done in this. It's just Mike's the science gonna, of brewing. Mike's going to taste so, daisies and unicorns. Stephen, how, how much is your menu informed by the, boars, or the beers that you guys are, uh, are pouring and, oh. and sort of, is it always a constant back and forth? Oh yeah, the the, I mean, like there's so many different beers out there. It just leaves it so open for me to, to do anything on the menu. Uh, okay. you know, I, but there was this one beer, uh, it, it's Fruly, it's a Strawberry beer, where I just made a strawberry vinaigrette mm -hmm. out of it. So, you know, there's, there's so many different things that you could do with it, uh, uh, as far it. as cooking beer. Uh, I cannot see through this. Not that's, light, that's the idea. Not, not anything through this. And this would go well with a. Uh, Give it a sip. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing better than three people drinking on oh. TV. What do you get out of that, Fiona? Well, Mike, I get chocolate. <laughs> See, I get coffee, I get a little and charcoal. It's, it's I get a burnt raisin. Almost. Burnt ra Hallelujah, my friend. I like that. And I stole burnt his raisin. beer opening ring. If you want to uh, enjoy anything at Craft Beer Week, it mm. goes on until May the 14th. You can go to the website for all the information and for tickets. You can try all sorts of different kind of beers paired with food. Thanks so much, gentlemen. Yeah. Stephen, thank you. Yeah. Jasper, thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. We're oh, uh, to going away. to give away some tickets. You can enter to win tickets by emailing us at urbanrush at shaw.ca and tell us your favorite dandelion story. No, you don't really have to. Just whatever. <laughs> Check out Brewery Creek Liquor Store on Main Street and Beercraft Bistro. Uh, has a few events happening over the week as well, so uh, you can check out their websites for more details. Gentlemen, thank you once Cheers. again. Cheers. We're going to take a break and uh, I'll give you a ring back. figure out what we're going to do after this. Thank you.